In this tutorial, we shall talk about the basics of the SOLIDWORKS user interface that will help us with the understanding needed to make our very first design. Now, having just installed SOLIDWORKS on your laptop, it should bring about 10 shortcuts like the ones I've highlighted. Specifically, locate the one named SOLIDWORKS 2020. Um, Right-click on it and open it. So, the time taken for SOLIDWORKS to fully load will be determined by the specifications of your PC. For those using newer, newer models like the Core i7 or Core i9, it should take less than 30 seconds. Um, for those using older versions like Core i5 or 3, it may take longer. So just supposed to be patient with it. Now, when it, when it opens for the first time, it should bring up a startup or a welcome dialogue like the one shown here. Um, so it comes with a lot of things, but for us, since we're basically designing a new part, you're just supposed to locate the part icon and double click on it. Alright, so what this does is that what it opens up the SolidWorks user interface for the first time. Right now, for those using older versions of SOLIDWORKS, this might not be a first thing that happens. So make use of the toolbar and locate the new part icon. Click on it and oh, it pops up something with a part, uh, an assembly and a drawing. You're just supposed to click on the part icon and click OK. Now, maybe this might not be a first thing you see and something a bit more complicated like this might pop up. Um, or something like... Just basically something like this or that. What you're supposed to do is just locate the novice button icon, click on it, and it will be back to the things, the simpler things that we know, and just supposed to click OK. Now, SolidWorks is basically, well, it has a lot of components, there's a lot of parts, but for now, our main focus will be on four parts. These are the toolbar, the command manager, the feature design tree and the graphics area. We shall try um, to explain this as simply as, as, as simple as possible. All right. So the one I'm currently I'm trying to talk about is the graphics area. It's the design feature tree, and um, that's the graphics area. So we start with the toolbar. The toolbar is just a, the first line above there um, it is used for starting a new document or opening a previously open design model and stuff like that it also contains a gear like looking icon which will be used to access um, many many more options that will, will come in use once we start designing All right now for those ego-eyed viewers or for those that are very observant, you may have noticed that whenever you hover over an icon, SolidWorks gives us a brief introduction into this model and what it basically does. This is the same thing that happens when we go over the, the SolidWorks logo, as it, as it gives us more options and particular interest in these, these more options will be the help icon. We shall make use of the help icon and in particular the, the tutorials because this is our first time using this this this, this application this software All right the next part is the command manager now just like the name suggests it's just it has a lot of commands okay depending on the mode under which we're operating this software it contains commands like features and sketches and evaluations and we'll try to We'll make use of them again once we start our models. So movement from one command to another can be done by either just selecting on the specific command that you want. Or we can just make use of the search icon, just top right corner, supposed to search for the command we're looking for. So in this case, I searched for a line. We search for it. And the line command actually does pop up. We just click on it. And, that's, and we can use it like that. Right, so more commands may be added dependent, depending on the requirements that we need. With time, we might do things such as the, the simulation. Now, the feature design tree, it displays the structure of the part or assembly. Right? So we can select an item in the, feature, in the feature tree. We can suppress it and suppress it, edit it, and pretty much sketch it. 
all right um so for this feature tree it has commands such as the the properties and stuff like that it also um has the the three default planes that we'll be using most of the time when we are not most of the time all the time when we're designing all right um and then the other thing is that we, when it comes to this just like with the, with the, with, the, with, the, with the command manager we can move over the the parts of the feature design tree by just selecting on the on the specific feature that we need all right and then the final part is the graphics area now the graphics area is the part where everything happens right and i feel it's easier for me to explain it to you with a model so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to make use of the toolbar and open a model that i've already designed all right Now, I'd like to make it clear that personally, I feel that using a mouse is easier than using a trackpad when you're dealing with SOLIDWORKS because the mouse does have uh, it does have a rotating wheel that we'll use a lot. Okay. So with our mouse, to zoom in and out or to rotate, we're just supposed to use the same wheel I was talking about. So want to zoom in you can either just rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise it may zoom in and it may zoom out and the thing with the zoom of this option is that it is cursor sensitive so whenever i want to zoom in on a particular part i just have to take the cursor to that particular part and zoom in it will take it will it will, it will zoom right there zooming out is also the same all right um like that so you see where the cursor has gone, that's where the zoom will mostly be focused on. It's the same thing that happens when I'm trying to rotate. So I'm just supposed to hold onto the, the wheel and revolve the mouse. And the more I revolve the mouse, the more the, the component rotates. Right now, with this information, I do believe we've covered just the basics that we need to know to create our first design, which we'll definitely do in the next video. If you enjoyed the video, Make sure to leave a like and share and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.